Do you know what today is, guys? It is Bob Log the Third's birthday. Bob Log the Third, that's right. Hey, check this out. Bob Log the Third has actually played this in a concert, and then I confiscated it after he signed it right here. Look at this pickup right here. It looks like a DeArmond foil pickup, and that's what today's episode is about. So, let's cut right to the chase. Give me a like, metricator, dislike it right away. You don't deserve to see anything about Bob Log the Third. Anyway, subscribe, and you'll get a notification to my exciting stuff. That, by the way, is Rattler by Bob Log the Third. Let's hit the bench. All right, guys, we're back on the vintage white owl box. Uh, if you remember in the last episode when we were talking about um, how to make these attachments and and beefing up everything with these pocket protectors and all that kind of thing, I'm going to give you a link right up there right about now to that episode but we're at the point now where we're going to put this foil let's just call it a foil uh thin humbucker on now the artist that this is going to sent this to me with a specific request to put it in this position here and you, you recall in the last episode we were putting these bolts in or these screws making sure that we were able to do that and everything would line up. So we're going to mount this now. I'm going to show you how to do it. Remember, this is an old box. I don't want to tear it up. And I want to make sure that the way this is done, it's not going to slop around and screws coming out later. And I'll show you how to do that. But first, let's talk a little bit about this kind of a pickup and how well it works here. There it is in the background over there. You hear it? That's Mississippi Fred McDowell on the guitar and Eli Green on the vocals. Bulldog Blues. Um, we're going to talk in the next episode about someone saying why do you put the piezo underneath the uh, right on the neck board if you don't want the clack. And we actually do want the clack, and I'll explain that. But let's get off to these pickups. Now you've seen me use this kind of pickup a lot. I like it. It's a humbucker. I just snap this off. I could also put it up here, uh, mount it underneath put a screw through here. Hey, Eli, I'm going to turn you down a little bit, son, because you're getting kind of freaky over there. He's kind of a freaky dude anyway, but I want you to hear that. There's a lot of clacking on this, on this music he's playing. But anyway, you've seen me use this. I usually snap this off, and I'll cut a hole in, but it's about the same thickness, really. So good, again, artist request on this one. But I typically put these up here, snap that off. You also have stuff like this. You get these pretty cheap. They sound okay. But when you see when you mount these, this is way up. You got that much room right there. You see how that drops in. That's perfect. Um, and also, these coil pickups that you adjust and stuff, they work too. But you got to cut holes and start to get down into your neck and stuff like that. So, you've seen these all before. They all work pretty good. But again, typically my choice is this one. This one is sounds good. You hear it on my guitars. This one is going to sound more like that one on the Bob Log guitar that I'm going to give you a link to at the end of the video and you saw at the beginning of the video. But anyway, let's quit talking and get to work here. Now the first thing I want to do while everything's still bolted up here is I got this wire here and I've got these holes here and I, I need to make sure everything's lined up. I don't want these like right on top of these where the magnet's pulling on these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, the square. We get this out of the way. Figure out where everything's going to be. Line that up like so. And then we just make some lines around here like this. And then while sitting here, I'm going to take my awl, drop down in the hole, and mark where those holes are going to be like so. Now that I've got all this marked off, I'm going to pull the screws out of the net so I can do what I need to do in here. I'm going to take this small bit. And this little bit bigger bit, this bigger bit is going to be for the hole for the wire to go down through the top of the box. And this is going to be holes that are going to go through uh, the pickup mounts and down through the box. 
All right, there we go. These are ready now. These holes on this mount were just a tad too small because I'm not just going to use screws here. Using screws, they slop out and bag out. Um, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a nylon insert nut so it doesn't back off and washers. And you can see that this is pretty small, but it's going to go through the hole in the box and mount everything up and never come loose. So the next thing I'm going to do is drill that hole for that wire right there. There we go. Got the hole for the coil pickup. Now, whenever you drill through these boxes, they mash out a little bit. So we're going to take a razor knife and knock that down, make sure that's nice. But again, the hole for the wire and the hole for the two pickup mounts right there. Now, I like these because you can do a little bit or a lot. If I got this, I can get way back from the edge and cut like that and get everything nice and smooth. I don't want these mashed out because if they are, after a while things get loose. So we just do that like so and we're good to go. Now, before I start mounting this, I want to remember that there's two volume controls here and there are two holes for, for um, jacks here. So there are two separate jacks, one for a piezo, one for this coil. I get all kinds of questions. Why you got two different volume controls? Why this? Why that? Why don't you use a switch? All that. The next episode is going to be about that. I've done a couple of other episodes, but not everybody watches my hundred videos. So we will cover that in the next episode. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to want to put the the jack for this coil on this side and use this volume control pot. So I'm going to run this through this hole right here like this. And I'm going to pull it through like so. Stuff that in there. Line up everything and get this nut and little bolt ready. So this is a Phillips head right through the hole. Get that lined up like so. And it's a tight fit, but we'll just run this down like so. Got one up here. Yeah, this is going to be pretty cramped because a lot of controls here and um, volume controls and all that kind of stuff. So, got to kind of think ahead as to what's happening. We'll run that down. There we go. Now on the back side, we're going to put one of these washers right there. And these nylon insert nuts are the best because once you get them on, you can tighten them up as much as you want or as little as you want and they won't back out. So, take my old man arthritis hands here and we'll get a nut driver at the end and tighten that all up and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, see there we go. Nothing's moving anywhere. I can leave that a little bit loose or tight. I certainly don't want to tighten it down too much and crack this box or something. I can put this volume control to get this wire out of here. Stuff that. You notice I left a gap in there so I can run the wires through and do what I need to do. And we beefed up that neck and here we bumped the tripod. But just put this in here. And I'll run a screw in here to kind of show you what it looks like. Last thing we're going to do is wire it up. And then, oh yeah, I had to had to grind down the end of this floating bridge just a little bit so it wouldn't 
interfere with that volume control. We'll turn that all the way down. Find zero right there. Point it right up to the artist. Push that down a little bit. And then we will take our trusty galvanized screws and run those back in. Of course, we don't want to strip them out all the way down. I'm going to be taking this back apart to wire it up, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea what this is going to look like with that pickup on there. Yeah, hey, Eli Green. There's something else, dude. Anyway, I always have to point these forward. You have to be straight with the universer. There's going to be a problem. So, there we go. Check that out. That looks pretty clean, huh? Next episode, we're going to be able to hear how this thing sounds. And ultimately, when it gets to artists, we're really going to hear how it sounds. Yeah, that pickup is awesome. This is the strings about ready to fall off. I bet you want to know. See you next time. Isn't that feedback awesome? That's like what they did on that Beatles song, Love Me Do. Not that I know what that is. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I forget a lot lately, y'all know that. Do not covet my cobalt blue slide. Isn't that beautiful? And right now, at the end of this video, you're going to see Bob Log playing this song, The Rattler, on this guitar. Okay, finally. See ya!